The Maxisys ATIS tablet provides comprehensive coverage of ATIS calibrations, along with the advanced diagnostics capabilities and time-saving automotive service features for which the Autel's Maxisys line of tablets are known. The adaptive cruise control system calibration is necessary when This video will demonstrate how to calibrate the adaptive cruise control system on equipped Volkswagen vehicles. Vehicle Preparation Set up and perform the calibration frame leveling procedure by following these steps. Attach the VCI to the vehicle and turn on the ignition. Ignition on, engine off. Connect the diagnostic tool to the vehicle. Tap Diagnostic. Tap the Auto VIN button on the upper left of the screen to read the vehicle identification number and identify the vehicle model and equip systems. Select ATIS Calibration. If night vision is not present on the vehicle or faults were not detected, perform the ACC calibration. These vehicle preparation measures vary by vehicle and system. Please follow the preparation instructions on the Maxisys ATIS tablet to ensure accurate calibration. Place the calibration frame. The following tools are required. Calibration frame, reflector, mini reflector, two wheel clamps with laser attachments, hex wrench and tape measure. Remove the grill on the ACC radar sensor. You may need to refer to vehicle user manual for the exact location of the ACC radar unit as its location varies by vehicle. Note, if no mini reflector is present on the sensor, attach mini reflector on any flat surface on the radar unit. Move the calibration frame in front of the vehicle. The floor must be level. No pattern should be attached to the frame. Rotate the fine-tuning bolt to align the marked lines. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine-tuning bolt until the scale value is zero. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Align the pointer on the sliding plate with the zero marked line. Tighten the bolt to secure the sliding plate. Turn on the laser and aim the beam at the front center of the vehicle. Adjust the height of the crossbar so that it is level with the center of the front wheel. Move the frame slowly to reach the specific distance between the vehicle emblem and the crossbar sliding plate. Ensure the beam of the laser is pointed at the front center of the vehicle. Ensure both sides of the crossbar are at the same distance away from the center of the front wheels. When the frame is in position, power off the laser. Rotate the bolts on the base until they are secured to the ground. Do not over tighten. Attach the two wheel clamps to the wheels by placing the pawls outside the wheel rim and tighten. Ensure the wheel clamps are firmly secured to the wheels. Insert the connecting shaft of the laser into the clamp port. The laser calibration board should be facing the front of the vehicle. Tighten the bolt to secure the laser. Turn on the attached lasers and adjust them so the beams light the rulers on each side of the crossbar cover plate. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine tuning bolt until the rulers on each side of the crossbar plate have the same value lit by the laser. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Lift the cover plates on each end of the crossbar. Adjust attached wheel lasers to control the up and down movement of the reflected laser beam. The reflected beam must shine on at least one of the scale boards of the laser boards. Rotate the bolt left or right until the scale values lit by the reflected beam are the same on each side of the bar. Now the calibration frame is parallel to the vehicle. Close the cover plates on the crossbar. Power off lasers on the attached wheel clamps and remove clamps from wheels. Start the ACC calibration. Attach the reflector to the crossbar and fit the reflector to the sliding plate. Rotate the bolt so that the side labeled 2 is facing up. Rotate all the bolts on the base of the calibration frame, referencing the bubble level to ensure the frame is level. Turn on the laser. Slide the reflector 
and adjust the height of the crossbar to aim the laser beam at the mini reflector of the radar sensor on the right side of the vehicle. Ensure the two bubbles are in the middle of the level. Use the hex wrench to adjust sensor bolts so that the reflected laser aligns with originating beam. Adjust the ACC radar sensor on the left side of the vehicle in the same manner. Turn on vehicle ignition. Note, during diagnostics and calibration, the battery voltage should be more than 12 volts. If the voltage is insufficient, please connect the battery maintainer. Calibrate the ACC radar sensor on the right side of the vehicle. Slide the reflector and adjust the height of the crossbar to aim the laser beam at the center of the radar sensor on the right side of the vehicle. Ensure the two bubbles are in the middle of the level. Rotate the knob on reflector so that the side labeled 1 is facing up. Tap OK. Rotate the knob on reflector so that the side labeled 2 is facing up. Tap OK. Rotate the knob on reflector so that the side labeled 3 is facing up. Tap OK. Turn the corresponding screw according to the guidelines displayed on the tablet. Follow the guidance on the tablet to rotate the knob on the reflector. If the radar angle is inaccurate, please follow the instructions on the tablet to operate until the message displays that the calibration is successful. Now the radar sensor calibration on the right side is completed. Adjust the ACC radar sensor on the left side using the same procedures. If you have any questions or concerns about this procedure, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video and for being a valued Autel customer.